Welcome back to our series of videos about using Moodle for design for learning. In the last video, we talked about the main content section of the main course page. And now, we're going to talk about the blocks on the side. The top block shares some contact information for our program. You'll always be able to link to our email address here to contact us if you have any questions. Under that is the navigation block. If this is collapsed, you can click on the plus sign on the top right to expand it. As you would expect, this gives you another way of navigating around the site. Anywhere there's a little arrow, you can toggle a section open or closed to see more pages or sections within that. If you're enrolled in more than one D4L course, you may find this most helpful to quickly move from one course to another. If you open up the section that says My Courses, you'll see all your courses listed there and can just jump to one right from here. Go ahead and take a look around and click on other sections to see what else is in this navigation block. When you're done, you may want to click on the minus icon again to close it up. Under that is the activities block. This lists each type of activity included in this module. If you click on an activity type, it will take you to a new page with a list of all the activities of that type in this module. For example, you can see all the forums within this module with detailed information about each forum. We'll come back to this in another video when we talk more about discussion forums. Right now, we'll use the breadcrumb trail to go back to our main course page and back to our activities block. We'll close that up again. And under that, there's another block for administration. This block is mostly for site administrators, so you can pretty much ignore it, leave it collapsed. But in later videos, we'll point out a few features that you can look for here on different specific pages. In the next video, we'll talk about the book and lesson formats in Moodle.